What's up guys? I'm Just a Gamer and I'm back with a quick video just wanting to share my thoughts with Summer Game Fest which is now I believe officially behind us and just the fact that I think this might officially be the reason why E3 may not come back next year. Things kicked off with uh, Jeff Keighley's live event, the Summer Game Fest kickoff, which I think was extremely, ex it went extremely well. I mean, the games that were shown were just fantastic. They had a good assortment of things we knew to, we were gonna see and surprises along the way. And just overall, I think it was a fantastic way to kick off this summer of gaming. While I'm still a bit iffy on it, I think the PlayStation Showcase a week before was, I, I think it was technically also part of Summer Game Fest, I think. But, and even if it wasn't, I, I mean, even though I thought the show was okay, the, uh, the PlayStation Showcase, just even though I thought it was okay, it was really lackluster also in many aspects i mean you've probably heard it from a bunch of people already that it was basically mostly cg trailers like hardly any gameplay uh not that many first party games were shown i mean they showed a bunch of games but if you really look back on it a lot of those games are also multi-platform so we we didn't really get that many first party games uh, shown at the PlayStation Showcase. It was just overall, I think it was their weakest showcase to date. That's just my opinion for PlayStation. Nothing against them, I love them, but I think that show this showcase for them was their weakest to date. It was just, it just did not hit what they needed to hit. From there, the next big showcase was actually, in my opinion, Xbox's showcase, which I also think had a fantastic showing. Yes, there were a few misses in my opinion with Hellblade and a few really a few games that they really didn't show gameplay for, but they also had some really good surprises like South of Midnight, Clockwork Revolution, just a good uh, amount of games that like I actually really excited to see more of. And not to be mean, but they really did actually show more gameplay than in their games than they'd been PlayStation did, which again was a real bummer for them, but a really good move for Xbox. And just a quick side note, Clock Revo Clockwork, Clockwork Revolution gives off really big Bioshock vibes, which I'm not mad at, and I don't know, everything, even though it was all in engine, we didn't really see much game gameplay, but just everything about this game that I saw, like, got me really interested, makes me really want to know more and see more, and I think, like, they did a good job of hinting at, like, the maybe time traveling aspect of this game without going too far into it, so just quick night, quick side note, Clockwork Revolution is the game I'm really, really, really liking to keep my eye on. But obviously the star of Xbox's show was Starfield, which honestly, if they deliver on even half the things they showed off in their uh, Starfield Direct, this game is gonna be incredible. Cause they seem to be shooting for the moon, Mars, the galaxy, <laughs> no pun intended. And it's just, it looks incredible. And if they can actually deliver on it, it's gonna be amazing. And if it launches in a good state, like, cause come on, a lot of Bethesda games, they launch a bit buggy, but if they can launch this in a rel relatively good state with not too many buggy or hampering things, again, this game is, I think this could be just, this could be the surprise, I don't know if it would be surprising, but like this could just be the mega hit of the year, honestly just from everything they showed and if they deliver on it. And that's just a few of the showcases of the multitude that were shown uh, during the summer of gaming of this week, which was tech, which would have technically been E3 week. And honestly, 
from what I can see, uh, reading, um, not re like uh, news outlets and the reports like Easy Allies, kind of funny, Giant Bomb. It's like for them, it seemed they seemed a lot happier with how the event in general went about. Cause when it comes to E3, you just you know for us it's a hype fest. We're having fun. But for those outlets, it's a lot of work and stressful and it could just be a real, real nightmare. And it's and not to mention there's been a few E3s where that's more so than others. But uh, this year, the fourth summer of gaming, it seemed much more exciting for them too. And it seemed much more uh, less stressful for them. And I think they had a better overall time. And then that also goes to developers. I think they themselves also had just a better time being able to like showcase their stuff on their own time, not having to worry about other conferences, locations, stuff like that. And they were able to just do things in their own time frame. And then just the summer of gaming encompassed that. And I just feel like them being so ha like with how things went this year being so much relaxing simpler i'm not i'm not gonna say it wasn't stressful for the developers i'm assuming you know they still had to get demos done and stuff like that but it just the vibe or feeling i got from a lot of these uh interviews and stuff was like they had a lot better time interacting with you know reporters and fans and stuff like that than they did at e3 and that could be the real uh, nail in the coffin for e3 honestly for next year even though the ESA has stated that they would be back next year, my question is like, again, with the developers being uh, very happy with how things went with Summer Game Fest or Summer of Gaming, why would they want to go back to a more stress-filled venue as E3 when things this time around were so much easier for them, it seems. And I know E3 is not just for major publishers. That's for a lot of indie developers and like other up and coming people like get to show off their games and stuff. But that's what Dave the Devs did a good job with as well. And there were some other things here and there that I believe they were able to show off some more indie games as well. And I just feel like E3 being so much more stressful than Game Fest is what's going to kill it. And it makes me wonder like if they do come back next year, what are they gonna do? Because I don't see a lot of pub a lot of publishers making the move to a more stress-filled environment. Let me just put it that way. I mean, if they do, it'll be surprising. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not gonna happen, but it'll just be surprising to me because with E3 and Summer Game Fest gonna be happening more than likely at the same time, what can each of them get a hold of and hold on to because let's be honest a lot of those developers and people they love Keely and they've not and they've stated in the past they don't they're not fans of E3 so I'm gonna assume more of them are gonna gravitate towards uh, Keely and Summer Gaming so what's E3 gonna do to bring those developers back what are they gonna do to elevate these problems and will it even be possible at this point um, but yeah that's just my two cents I just wanted to get out there I actually think Summer of Gaming or Summer Game Fest went extremely well it was a real fun week of just bam 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 game 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 I mean I'm not gonna say there was no bummers or letdowns I mean look at Capcom and their showcase which was a total train wreck in my opinion they showed the only surprising thing there was Pragmata and that got a delay but the way they did it I actually respect it they did it in a really good way I, you haven't seen my reaction to it check it out but yeah uh i think summer of gaming i think this is the new way to go i think this is what gamers are going to be looking forward to now instead of e3 and not just gamers but developers and um journalists news outlets as well so yeah that's just my two cents i just want to give this little take here um if you enjoyed this video please leave a like or comment down below i appreciate any you know, feedback let me know your guys thoughts i mean did you enjoy summer game fest uh, as much as i did do you think it's better than e3 or the better than e3s that have been the last few years 
I mean, me personally, I think it has. I think it is, this was way better than any three E3 since, I want to say, either 2016. No, 2017 was okay, I guess. But, yeah, it's been a while since there's been a good E3, in my, in my opinion. But, yeah, I think this was, the summer of gaming was really, really good. And I actually really look forward to next year as well. So, let me know your thoughts as well. But, yeah, those are my thoughts. Please take care, have a good game, and until next time, I'll see you then.